Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hey, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started, shall we? Hey, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Cancer, I'm seeing a lot of gold energy for you. This is divine energy. This is fantastic. Um... I'm hearing for some of you, this is, this is Ascension related. Um, you may be, uh, yeah, some of you may be experiencing Ascension symptoms for the first time. Um, those could be flu-like symptoms, um, headaches, ringing in the ears is very, is very popular, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, if you really want more information on Ascension symptoms, um, I really don't think there is any one set amount. It really could be anything. Um, but just maybe maybe if that resonates with you, just look into it, you know. Do a good Google search or something. Um, but this golden light is divine protection also. That's a good thing. Cancer. I'm also seeing a blue color for you. Um... It's a light blue color. It's very nice. That's also protective. It's, it's a very loving um, energy that I'm feeling. Very nurturing, caring energy. Um, that most likely just is your <laughs> energy in general, for sure. Um, yeah. Cancer. All right. I'm going to give you two more shuffles, Cancer. And then we will get into this. Oh, <laughs> let's try that again. Cancer. Okay. Sweet. Let's get into it, guys. All right. Overall energy for you, Cancer. We've got the we've got just a uh, judgment, but it's in reverse. Okay. So, uh, for many of you, this is the process of ascension. Okay, um, and this would be why it's in reverse because you're in the process of going through this energy. Uh, 
the, the uh, justice, I'm not, not justice, excuse me, judgment um, can mean, uh, can talk about reconciliation. Um, for some of you, it is talking about reconciliation. Um, there's a desire to reconcile potentially, but there could be some sort of blockage towards that. Um, there maybe there there's even a des a, a desire of of not <laughs> wanting to correct to reconcile. I do know some cancers that will resonate with that. <laughs> um, but okay, uh, for uh, I'm hearing ascension symptoms for the most part um, in the process of ascension. Oh my, we've got the world right after that. That's in reverse. So that's progress from. That's very interesting. Uh, from just judgment to, I don't know why I keep wanting to say justice, but from judgment to the world, okay? But they're both in reverse here. Some sort of progress uh, is being stalled, I want to say. Here we have, look, here you are, the Queen of Cups. This is in reverse as well. And the star. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, Cancer. So the star is in reverse also. The universe is very much trying to help you. I really feel like cancer. Um, it's trying to help bring something into fruition. It's trying to help you realize your dreams. But because, and I'm hearing because of a lack of, of emotional stability on some, on some cases or in some way, it's causing a blockage from this completion. Hmm. Okay. That's really all I'm getting right now. So let's go into the energies of the month. Okay, so we've got the for the first half of the month, the first set of current energies you've got the King of Wands in reverse. Okay. Oh, sorry, my phone's going off. Uh, the King of Wands in reverse, and that's coupled with, oh boy, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm hearing not wanting to reconcile with this person, or conversely, not being able to. If we're talking twin flames here, the King of Wands can definitely be the Divine Masculine. There's a big, big blockage here, Cancer, in some way. And I really feel like whoever this King of Wands is, this could be you. Um, if you have, I mean, it doesn't have to be fire related. It just could be you. It could be the other person. Uh, most likely is. I feel like this is the other person or the other part of the situation. Um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have fire in your chart. I really feel like whoever this symbolizes here, this King of Wands, this person really wants to come forward and offer some sort of love. But they're feeling like they're blocked. In some way. But what I'm what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing is the passion is real. Like too deep to explain. Like, words can't even... Jeez. <laughs> Second set of current energies, you've got... There it is. Seven of Wands. There's that blockage. Defensiveness. All right. I get it, Cancer. You are very much on the hard defense right now. Like, very much in your shell. All up in your feelings. <laughs> Look at that. Queen of Cups in reverse. All up in your feelings. And you're on the defensive. And for a good amount of you, I really feel like you have every right to be defensive. Whatever has taken place here, I really feel like, it, it, whether you have the right or not, it's more, it's more like, instead of saying you have the right, I'm saying it's no surprise <laughs> that your feelings are defensive right now, okay? Seven of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Swords, but in reverse. I feel like what I'm hearing with the Seven of Swords in reverse is misperception. Something's gotten misconstrued. There is an energy of um, deception, but someone has the wrong idea here with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven and seven, look at that. Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords together. 
And what that's saying to me is, I feel like luck, because seven's a lucky number, so that could be talking about luck in the sense that this is all going to work out somehow. But this is definitely why you're feeling defensive, Cancer. Or why someone is defending themselves against you. Because of misperceived obstacles is what I want to just heard. Okay. I really don't even know what that means. Maybe that'll resonate with somebody. Um, the current challenge, as if things aren't challenging enough, the current challenge for the first half of the month you've got the Queen of Pentacles. In reverse, with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Uh, this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Leo, Cap, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, it could be you also, if you have Earth in your chart, but you don't have to have Earth in your chart. Um, but I feel like the challenge I wonder if there's someone else involved. There's another feminine energy that's involved here. Um, and with the Eight of Swords, someone's got to come out of some sort of mental prison surrounding this person, surrounding this Queen of Pentacles. It's very strange. I'm just, I'm getting an, uh, an, uh, an external energy, someone that is, not it's not it's a it's a different energy between you and the person that you're connecting with there's a third party here <laughs> um and this third party is very much in reverse I, I i feel like you need somebody needs to overcome some sort of i want to say manipulation or blockage that whoever this queen of pentacles ref, is referring to is has been like injecting into the situation I feel like this Queen of Pentacles energy has really fucked some shit up. <laughs> I don't, I really don't think it's you, Cancer, or the person that you're connecting with. I feel like it's a, it's an, a third party, an external influence. Okay. Potential uh, outcome for the first half of the month. Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, so that's good. Because I see you coming out of... Um, I want to say closed-mindedness, being closed off, uh, refusing to make a decision, refusing, refusing to see something in the situation. That's coupled with, hello, there you are, Cancer, the chariot. Okay, so that's what I was saying. I feel like oh, potential outcome so far in the beginning of the month is you, I guess, making a decision towards something or coming out of some sort of, really coming out of your shell and moving forward in some way. Okay? I just heard taking a leap of faith. That's more of the fool energy, but maybe it could be coming out of this energy of the two of swords energy and moving forward towards this person again, whoever is represented by the king of wands, potentially. Okay. For the second half of the month, upcoming energies, first set, you've got, okay, knight of cups in reverse. That's coupled with, ah, the Knight of Pentacles. Upright though. Okay, so I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race here. So in the first, the second half, of, okay, so the first half of the month, you potentially, outcome for that, you potentially come out of your shell. Second half of the month, you possibly start moving towards some sort of offer. Slowly but surely moving towards some sort of maybe an invitation, um, a declaration, something like that. Okay. Second set of upcoming energies for the second half of the month. You've got, well, I'm going to say current. I don't know how I want to define it. 
define it, <laughs> divine it. <laughs> um, but the second half of the month, we'll say current energy. Second set, you've got, oh boy, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why are things so reversed right now? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Cups. What is going on, Cancer? The Three of Cups is upright. This is so weird. But I'm getting an energy of a reconciliation in a way. But again, this is still a continuation of, um, I really feel like what I'm feeling with this combination is no new start until friendship is established again, or just in general. There's not going to be an offer of commitment yet, but there is going to be some sort of work going through, uh, happening to do that uh, on a social standing. I'm getting an energy. Yeah, I'm getting an energy. of There isn't going to be an offer of commitment just quite yet. It's more going to be friendship based with the three of cups upright. Okay. Okay, so the, the challenge for the second half of the month would be Page of Cups. This could be you. Um, I'm hearing, uh, understanding your emotions on a deeper level, maybe being dreamy about something. Page of Cups is coupled with, ah, temperance. Okay, so, and temperance is upright. So you've got your, your, your challenge for the second half of the month is balancing out these dreams that you are having. Coming to terms with them, I heard. But this is also, re, it, I'm picking up an energy of uh, regaining emotional balance here. And I really feel like you're going to be learning some more about yourself because of this. But also the challenge... The challenge is saying patience, having patience with what you're dreaming about, letting it come into fruition, letting the universe provide it to you in divine timing, which is, is difficult. I get it. <laughs> I get it, guys. It is difficult. Divine timing can be very frustrating. But that's mostly your ego at play. Yeah. Okay. So um, potential outcome for the second half of the month. You've got, you've got the emperor. The emperor is coupled with woo, the moon in reverse. Okay, so there could be some secrets coming out. There could be some revelations. This could be the divine masculine here. If you're in a twin flame situation. Letting something out, letting, letting some sort of secret out. Finally, removing any sort of deception, potentially. Because you also, you have d depictions of the Divine Masculine in both halves of your month. Because the Divine Masculine can also be represented by the King of Wands. Uh, I feel like somebody makes a big leap, a big change. And we're talking, we, in the beginning of the, the, the reading, I was saying, there's, you know, there's some sort of ascension happening. You might be feeling these ascension symptoms and you've got just, oh my gosh, judgment, not justice, judgment. Maybe that has to, maybe, maybe justice, there's an energy of justice here because something's going to come through, come to fruition potentially. But with the king of wands and then the emperor here, on either side of the reading, I feel like somebody is really going to take a leap, a quantum leap, like step up into some new reality. Yeah, a quantum leap, <laughs> I want to say. Um, I don't want you guys, Cancer, I don't want you to be too upset because with these with just with with judgment and the world and the star in reverse it's not so much blockages well yes it is I, sorry i'm hearing for some of you cancer some that some of you yeah you're really <laughs> you're really putting in the hard no <laughs> to the universe but the universe is trying to get you to 
to, to see something differently, I think. But for some of you, there is just, some cancers, there's just a, pro, an, a, a process of ascension, an ongoing process of ascension that's happening. And that might be throwing your emotions way out of whack, out of control, potentially. Ah, okay. So some of you might be also be, uh, excuse me, some of you might also be receiving some sort of psychic attunement. But there's healing in process here. So that might be, so because of a psychic attunement, that might be why you feel out of sorts, out of control, maybe. That's possible. Okay, cool. So let's get into the Oracle guidance here from the unicorns. Spirit, please give us, please give us the best messages for cancer in relation to uh, this reading for the month of September 2018. Cancer, all right. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. There we go. I think there's two here. Yep. Okay. Wow. All right, so the first one we have is flow. Find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. Yeah. Go with the flow, Cancer. I mean, it's not like that's hard for you to do, but in this moment, you're really resisting something. And the universe is asking you just to go with the flow. And especially if you're expecting the worst, especially if like if you're if you're resisting what the universe is asking you to do or what is calling for you to do because you're expecting the worst, don't do that. Release your expectations. And just go with it, okay? And then the second card we have is Sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. I really think, I really think this is absolutely focused more on... Because I, I feel like you might have been isolated a bit too long. Um, but this is also really saying to work on meditating. Going within. But also, some of you can some of you cancers might ha might just be um, trying to distract yourself by a, a socially. Okay, so this could be something that you're going through now, or you're gonna go through like later on in the month with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. You're less focused on um, starting a new. But I, I hear breaking ground and more and more focused on social aspects of things like spending more time being social to distract you from the new beginning that's trying to come forward for you, okay? But meditation is a big thing right now that's coming through with that message of sanctuary. All right, Cancer. So there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this resonated with you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.